today the Shelby Super Snake was revealed and let me tell you welcome to another episode of car talk with JRG we talk about current topics in the car community debates things like that I'm not gonna make this video too long I want y'all to just to mainly see this of how the car is gonna look just want y'all to take a look at it first before we dive into everything so go ahead take a look Now, as you can see, it's based off the S650, which has gotten different types of uh, reactions from people. It looks just like the Dark Horse, which I do like. I do like the Dark Horse, mixed with a little bit of a GT500 from the previous generations. Now, this car, I wanna know what y'all think in the comments about this car. This is going to be expensive, most likely. If it's anything close to what the old Super Snake cost, I think the old Super Snake for 2023 was like 140,000 base fully loaded was like 170 which is it's out of range for a lot of people but if it was affordable would you buy it you know or if you, you know some of y'all can afford it you know whatever um now it's gonna come in two different engines well two different a couple different configurations they're, they're both gonna come with like the coyote right one comes with the regular naturally aspirated 480 horsepower v8 and then one will come with an 830 horsepower v8 with a whipple on it now my question to you would be do you think that you could build this car for cheaper which i mean at this point you probably could um depending on what a base gt costs or a fully loaded gt with a whipple kit so you can get it in a manual and you can get it in the automatic you can get the naturally aspirated or you can get the supercharged now i wouldn't even if you're gonna spend 100 100k plus why would you get the naturally aspirated it's just a regular gt at that point is it just a gt with a shelby sign on it would you rather have that car over a GT500, which last year costed 100K? It looks good. It still looks kind of like a regular GT. I'm not gonna lie. Um, if they had the body kits for it and I had an S650, I would just, without putting the badge on there, I would just go ahead and swap that stuff over and get you a whipple. The package is gonna give you the body kit. It's gonna give you some carbon fiber bits. It's gonna give you a refined suspension. You're gonna get a new hood. You're gonna get the supercharger. You're gonna get the Shelby badges. Um, there's some other options that haven't been out yet, but it looks like from the from the pictures that I'm showing, you're gonna be able to get different seats too. Bigger thing, another big thing. Now, if you get a GT, I believe you can still keep your factory warranty if you get a Whipple. I think I, I'm not 100 sure. I think Whipple is part partnering with uh, for it for this, but you can also keep your warranty with this. Now, just like the video I did on the Cold Red GT500, this is gonna be a limited production run. There's only gonna be 250, so a lot of us, and it's a lot of y'all who could afford it, probably ain't gonna get it anyway. <laughs> is it worth the 140 to 170,000 price tag, or would you rather just buy a GT and do it all for yourself? Would you rather just buy a Shelby and do it that all for yourself, or you know, just, just have a Shelby GT500 upgraded, whatever you want? be faster than that um or would you rather have the lineage the super snake the carol shelby signature the carbon fiber all that good stuff lighter wheels all that let me know in the comments what you think if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe see me with the nilla bomb you know <laughs> browse the channel for more and most importantly have a nice day